Hello friends, in today's video we will grow winter radish and we will also take a look at the effects of weather on growing radish and some of you might find the effects quite dramatic. So the first set of radish that we we'll look at is being started in mid-August. Now in mid-August a lot of areas do get cool. But let's see if the weather is cool enough for radish to thrive under these conditions. Now we are growing our radish in these rope buckets which are great for growing uh, your plants. It's a nice container with a lot of area and the radish variety that we are growing is the fire and ice radish variety which is a winter radish and it's supposed to produce about 3 to 4 inch long radish. And as you can see the leaves have a lot of damage because under warm conditions there will be a lot of insects that will chew on your plants. But the radish seems pretty okay. We got about 2 to 3 inches, some even 4 inch radish growing it in the month of August. But if you're growing radish for a lot of greens, you may want to delay your planting for about a couple of months. Now let's look at growing the same radish variety, fire and ice, but now in the month of October. So in this case, we are using a potting mix of 30% peat moss, 30% vermiculite and 30% compost with 10% of organic matter like organic fertilizer and, and vermicompost. And I found that this mix works good for radish as well. It's very close to the one that we used in the rope bucket where we used perlite instead of vermiculite. But the vermiculite helps retain a lot of moisture in the soil which really helps the radish plants. Now we're sowing the seeds evenly around the container and we will be thinning out once the plants grow. So within 30 days you can see that the plants are looking a lot better than the ones we grew in August. And that's because the temperatures have cooled down, there are a lot less insects around. So you're going to get a lot more healthy green leaves for your radish as well as good radish roots. So let's go ahead and pull out a few radish from this pot. And as you can see clearly the greens look a lot better and the volume of the roots is a lot better than the ones that we grew in August. So the conclusion that I have after seeing these plants is that the later you wait, the better radish that you're going to get in the season. So the ideal time to grow radish in Southern California is between October and February. So I hope you like this video. Do let me know what kind of radish do you grow? Do you grow winter radish? And if you do grow them, which are the months that you grow your radish in? I'll see you again soon. Happy gardening.